must have our God and our gun and pray that God will bless us to shoot straight. We didn't build it for the Black Panthers. The Black Panthers were threatening rifles. Indeed, this is a solid time that we can stick together, pray together, and, and kind of stay in unity. Get the solid guy, get your ass in my Man, I ain't bad. But, uh... Uh, I, I don't hear him. One of the hottest summers in recent years, with no rain or clouds in well over a month, the morning of June 7, 1998, offered no hope for change in a small town in East Texas. The setting was Jasper, Texas. Local residents in Jasper heading to work and church that Sunday morning along Huff Creek Road made a horrendous discovery, a headless body in the road. As we said in the statement, the, the head and right arm did come disengaged from the main portion. How far was it back? There is a possibility three miles. Uh, possibility. That's still we're, we're still trying to find. We're still investigating that. The upper part of a torso with the head and right arm attached had been found in a ditch about a mile away. Even after officers found a wallet containing identification for Mr. James Bird Jr., they couldn't identify the distended and disfigured face by the photograph. It's a serious crime. Uh, this is a serious uh, situation that we had out there. Uh, and I can't rate it one through two. I've worked two murders as a sheriff, and I'll tell you this, this was worse than the other one. Bird had been dragged to death in atrociously brutal means of killing that had been suffered by African Americans at the hands of whites in the South earlier in the 1900s. I'm telling you, this is an isolated incident. There is no organized effort, to my knowledge, of the Aryan Brotherhood being in Jasper County, Texas, or in Jasper. To the best of my knowledge, there is no Ku Klux Klan organization in Jasper County. Racism in Texas, it is deep. It is cancerous. It is strong. By the time the out-of-town reporters began to show up, Three white men had been arrested, John William King, Lawrence Russell Brewer Jr., and Sean Allen Perry were safely behind locked doors of the Arby Cole Law Enforcement Center. The NAACP called earlier this week on behalf of the House leadership and the Senate leadership to quickly pass the Hate Crimes Act of 1998 sponsored by Senator Kennedy. As the jail's front lawn turned into a circus of television satellite trucks, protest groups, and politicians, platoons of local, state, and federal law enforcement met inside to try to figure out just what had happened to James Bird Jr. and why. I went to Jasper that day and I had the mail that my grandmother's knees. And then they told me, they weren't ready to tell me, but they figured we had to know that all the graphic details would have happened. We found out on that Monday that the body 
Jackson been found. And Jackson on the Huffy Road, whose head was in a ditch, was actually a human body. And that the guy that did it was apprehended within eight hours of the killing. Um, my father was walking home from the anniversary party when they picked him up. They drove him to the remote area. They stripped him of his clothing. They beat him till he was half unconscious. They spray painted his face black. And to inflict more pain, they pulled his pants down. They tied him to the bottom ankles to the back of a great pickup truck. My father is such a fighter. He stayed alive, doing most of the dragging, trying to keep his elbows off the pavement. That's just a minute aspect of what the pain my father felt that, that night.